incredible. Yeah, it was very, very sick. The best gig I feel like I've done. One of done. the best festivals we played, I Yeah, we've never Definitely. like... I don't, Liv and Harry used to go to this festival, like Harry used to go to Reading and Liv used to go to Leeds, so, and we always wanted to go, but we were always working or to like, you know, yeah. couldn't get the money. Trying to book this weekend off working anywhere is a nightmare. Absolutely not. And that's what happened. <laughs> so we were crying, can we swear on this? Shitting and throwing. <laughs> <laughs> but the set was great. It was so yeah. good. In, in summary, fantastic. He said our band's name and I cried. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was weird, I mean, you know, we were chatting about this earlier saying like it was kind of odd to see that they were playing in Warrington yeah. but it was also kind of amazing like being fans of the band and then all of a sudden you know your hometown they're there and you're supporting them it's a bit of a surreal moment they kept calling it Ma the, the, yeah, <laughs> Jared was like I love you Manchester what do you mean Warrington I don't know what that is and obviously like the reason we kind of got the gig is because these guys are Warrington based legends you know it was our oh, first UK. First some people, first <laughs> some people in the UK don't know where Warrington is, so I can't blame him. Yeah, I so. know. Yeah. It was the first few gigs we did in Warrington, so it was like full circles put in like yeah. you know, my childhood fave band, so what the fuck. Um, we actually wrote that like really, really recently. We pretty much wrote it, recorded it, and then put it out. So It came out pretty naturally as well. It was one yeah. of them, because we um, went to Wales to do like a, set up our own little demo studio. And that was the one where the arrangement on the demo didn't change. All we did was we just redid it in the studio. So the actual writing process, it just sort of like came naturally to all of us, I think. Uh, every now and then we get one where it's pretty much exactly the same. And that was just one of them. And those are the ones that seem to do yeah. really well, where we just, you know, just happens. We all know what we need to do for, to help the song, basically. You know, it was, was great. Like, we're trying, you know, with upcoming projects, we're trying to, like, write in loads of different ways. And this way was great because Amy sent me a riff and Amy sent me, like, loads of different kind of arrangements. And I was just like, you know, this was, like, the last one Amy sent. Oh, yeah, I did this one. And I was like, this is really good. And I obviously thought the hook over it, which were all, like, kind of notes from my therapy session <laughs> about things that I didn't like about myself and wanted to work on. Um, and it kind of worked as a hook, and I went, "Oh, Amy, I got this." And Amy was like, "Holy shit, we got a we got a hook there!" And then <laughs> when we brought it to Wales, which was really nice, it it became the full fledged piece. We're releasing our first ever mixtape, <laughs> which is like a secondary <laughs> piece. Um, yeah, we're so excited. This project, it's called Loud Without Noise. Oh, uh, it's obviously kind of in reference to when you're anxious and constantly putting music on, videos on to kind of distract and null them thoughts. And it's kind of all songs that intertwine those feelings, whether it's like about mental health or a break, breakups and um, political problems, that kind of vibe. And it's so, it's such a great piece of work, like loads of, uh, it's all written so differently and it was so much fun to create. And it's kind of giving everyone a little bit of a different slice of us. Like, you know, Come Over was the one that kind of blew up, but obviously we started from a very kind of grungy background. So I feel like this takes all the extremes and that's kind of what we wanted to do with it. Yeah, we, we wrote everything on on the EP. Uh, we worked with a guy called Pete Robertson, who's amazing. And he adds like so much to, to the song and so much comes out with the studio with him. And yeah, he's definitely like a huge, huge part in, in how the songs end up sounding. So yeah, yeah if he is, Kind of, he's not. He's, he's the glue. He's, just, he's the glue he's that molds all the. <laughs> yeah, he's all the a fifth member that not many people know.